Vittorio Veneto was the last cruiser built in Western Europe and the flagship of the Italian Navy from 1969 until 1987. In comparison to its size, this surface combatant had impressive firepower and aviation capabilities. Today we're investigating the Vittorio Veneto helicopter cruiser, a ship that closed an era in Western Europe. Vittorio Veneto was one of the most impressive Western surface combatants with its beautiful Italian design and high combat capabilities. Although this helicopter cruiser never fired its weapon in anger, it participated in many crucial missions and became a memorable naval ship. Two essential breaking points shaped the design of Vittorio Veneto. The advancement in missile technologies and the emerging helicopter cruiser concept. The victors of the Second World War brought many German engineers and blueprints to their countries, accelerating their previous efforts on air defense missiles. The early ground-based examples reached maturity in the early 1950s. These countries then initiated work on naval applications. In the mid-1950s, the US Navy began converting some of its Second World War vintage gun cruisers to guided missiles, quickly becoming a new trend for many navies. In 1962, the Soviet Navy fitted one of the Sverdlov-class cruisers, Zerzhensky, with the naval version of the S-75 missile, whose NATO reporting name is SAN-2A. Two years later, HRMS De Rauter of the Royal Netherlands Navy now had the RIM-2 Terrier missiles. In 1972, France converted Colbert to a guided missile cruiser. Yet, Italy was the first country to follow the USA in this new era. In 1961, this country had already converted the Second World War vintage Abruzzi-class cruiser Giuseppe Garibaldi to a guided missile cruiser. Also, before that, the Italian Navy had ordered three Andrea Doria-class guided missile helicopter cruisers in 1957. The second essential breaking point was the newly emerging helicopter cruiser concept. Conventional warships could carry one or two helicopters. Their helipads were suitable for operating one rotary wing aircraft at once. However, a helicopter cruiser could accommodate more helicopters, up to 14 in some examples, and many could simultaneously operate more than one. France and Italy pioneered this concept. In 1957, both countries ordered the first helicopter cruisers. The French designed Jeanne d'Arc as a training vessel in peacetime and an anti-submarine warfare ship and commander carrier in wartime. On the other hand, the Andrea Doria class of the Italian Navy was a pure anti-submarine warfare ship. Following these countries, in 1967 and 1969, the USSR commissioned two Project 1123 Condor-class helicopter cruisers, whose NATO reporting name is Moskva. The Royal Navy converted the Tiger-class cruisers HMS Blake and HMS Tiger to helicopter cruisers between 1965 and 1972. We should add that the US Navy initiated the DDH-997 program, which intended to design a helicopter destroyer version of the Supran's class. However, Washington later cancelled the project. Also, the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force commissioned Haruna and Shirana-class helicopter destroyers in the 1970s and 1980s. As mentioned, the Andrea Doria-class, which carried four AB-204 helicopters, was one of the pioneers of helicopter cruisers. Italy initially planned to have three ships of this class, but commissioned only Andrea Doria and Caio Dolio. The third cruiser, Enrico Dandolo, was cancelled in favor of the more advanced and enlarged Vittorio Veneto because operational experience quickly revealed that the design of the 6,500-ton Andrea Doria class was too small. Initially, Italy intended to build two Vittorio Veneto class ships. But the second cruiser, Italia, was cancelled in favor of the Giuseppe Garibaldi. Vittorio Veneto was laid down on June 10, 1965, launched on February 5, 1967, and commissioned on July 12, 1969. She had a similar layout to the Andrea Doria class. However, unlike her predecessors, Vittorio Veneto had two elevators and an enlarged aft flight deck. Also, the ship had two combined mass funnel structures rather than the separate funnels of the Andrea Doria class. The cruiser was fitted with stabilizing fins to improve stability for helicopter operations. Thanks to the onboard AN SQS-23 sonar, torpedo tubes and the RUR-5A ASRAC missiles, Vittorio Veneto also had an excellent anti-submarine warfare capability for its time without using its helicopters. 
the complement of Vittoria Veneto class, was 557 people. The ship had a length of 179.6 meters, a beam of 19.4 meters and a draught of 6 meters. Her standard and fully loaded displacements were 7,500 and 9,500 tons respectively. The propulsion system consisted of four faster Wheeler boilers and two Tozzi turbines, which provided 73,000 horsepower. Her maximum speed was 32 knots. The ship had a range of 9,260 kilometers, in other words, 5,000 nautical miles at an economical speed of 17 knots. The Vittorio Veneto's D-band SPS-768 air search radar, also known as RAN-3L, had a maximum range of 200 km, while the EF-band SPS-52 had a range of 450 km. The ship also had the I-band SPQ-2 surface search radar, which had a range of 74 km. Vittorio Veneto had the first Italian Navy computerized command system, Sistema Direzione della Operazione di Combattimento 1, shortly SADOC 1. The cruiser had one Mark 10 twin arm launcher, which could fire air defense missiles and anti submarine warfare rockets. Initially, Vittorio Veneto had the RIM 2 Terrier air defense missiles, whose maximum speed was Mach 3. The Terrier was effective at a range of 32 km and an altitude of 24,000 meters, in other words, 80,000 feet. It had a 99 kg controlled fragmentation warhead. The SM-1ER replaced the RIM-2 in the early 1980s. This missile increased the air defense radius to 64 km. It had a maximum speed of Mach 2.5 and an effective altitude of 24,400 meters, in other words, 80,100 feet. The RUR-5 Azraq was an active passive acoustic homing Mark 46 torpedo carrying rocket. Its range was 10 km. Vittorio Veneto was carrying 40 air defense missiles and 20 anti-submarine warfare rockets. During its modernization in the early 1980s, the Italian Navy equipped the cruiser with four Automat anti-ship missiles. With a 210 kg semi-armor piercing warhead, the missile had a maximum speed of Mach 0.91 and a range of 160 km. Vittorio Veneto had eight 76mm L62 caliber Allargato guns, also known as Otto Breda 76mm 62 MMI, whose rate of fire was 59 rounds per minute. It had a maximum range of 18,400 meters and could be used against surface and air targets. The gun was ineffective against anti ship missiles. So, in the early 1980s, the Italian Navy fitted the ship with three 40mm twin barrel Dardos. This gun could engage air targets, including sea skimming missiles, at a range of 4,000 meters. Its rate of fire was 900 rounds per minute. All 76mm and 40mm guns were radar controlled. The cruiser also had two 324mm Mark 32 triple torpedo tubes. Vittorio Veneto was fitted for, but not with, four Polaris missile launchers. During the refit in the early 1980s, these launchers were removed. The cruiser's aft flight deck was 40 meters long and 18.6 meters wide. The hangar below the deck was 27.5 meters long and 15.3 meters wide. Two elevators, each 18 meters long and 5.3 meters wide, connected the deck to the hangar. Initially, Vittorio Veneto carried nine AB-204 helicopters. Later, the AB-212s replaced them. The ship's hangar could accommodate nine such helicopters. On paper, Vittorio Veneto could also carry six heavy ASH-3H Sea King helicopters, but the hangar was too small for them, so the cruiser could accommodate the Sea Kings only on the flight deck. Even though she never fired her weapons in anger, Vittorio Veneto's operational career was quite busy. In its early years, the cruiser served many crucial humanitarian missions. The ship took part in rescue operations in the 1976 Friuli earthquake. In 1979, the Italian Navy sent Vittorio Veneto alongside the cruiser Andrea Doria and the replenishment ship Stromboli to the Gulf of Thailand to rescue Vietnamese refugees called Boat People. The Naval Group 8, consisting of these three ships, saved about a thousand Vietnamese refugees and brought them to Italy. In 1980, Vittorio Veneto helped the victims of the Irpinia earthquake. In 1984, the Italian Navy tasked her with a real military mission when Italy sent its soldiers to Lebanon for the UN mission. 
This was the first deployment of Italian combat troops outside the country since the Second World War. Vittorio Veneto escorted the troop transport ships and patrolled near the Lebanese coast to support ground units if needed. The ship took part in Operation Margarita to monitor the transatlantic Achille Lauro hijacked by the Palestine Liberation Front as a terrorist act. The SH-3 helicopters took off from Vittorio Veneto and transported the commandos of the Italian Navy's Special Operations Unit who landed on the ship. Giuseppe Garibaldi took over the flagship of the Italian Navy title from Vittorio Veneto in 1987. During Operation Ibis, the cruiser was the flagship of the 24th Naval Group of the Italian Navy. Between April 20 and September 8, 1993, Vittorio Veneto participated in Operation Maritime Guard. During this time, she was the command headquarters ship of NATO's fleet, which blockaded the maritime arms traffic to the former Yugoslavia. During the 1997 Albanian Civil War, the Italian Navy deployed Vittorio Veneto to the coast of Albania. The cruiser was the flagship of the multinational task force that protected the aid deliveries to this country. During the mission, she ran aground off the port of Lora because of extreme weather conditions. Later, four tugboats refloated Vittorio Veneto without damage. On November 1, 2003, the Italian Navy decommissioned Vittorio Veneto. On June 29, 2006, she was disarmed and stricken from the list. Initially, Italy planned to turn this cruiser into the first Italian museum ship. However, Rome abandoned the plan due to budget problems and the massive presence of asbestos on the ship. In 2018, Vittorio Veneto was put up for sale. On June 8, 2021, the ship left Toronto Harbour for the last time to be scrapped in Alia, Turkey. It was the symbol of a closing era. Vittorio Veneto was the last cruiser built in Western Europe and one of the two cruisers that remained in service with Western European navies. The final was Jeanne d'Arc, decommissioned in 2010. The Italian Navy classifies Giuseppe Garibaldi as an aircraft carrying cruiser. Initially, the Brits also used this definition for the Invincible class. Let's be realistic, these ships are nothing but aircraft carriers, making Vittorio Veneto the last real cruiser built in Western Europe. Vittorio Veneto was among the most strikingly beautiful warships of the last 50 years. Her firepower was quite impressive. Yes, she never fought, but she was still a legend. Vittorio Veneto will always be special in the hearts and memories of naval enthusiasts. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.